Lily, it's me. Give me a call on my cell phone when you get this message, okay? I'm dying to know what you found at Julia's. I left a message with Julia to see when JJ can come for another visit. Great. She might call back. Okay. So I tell you what, the phone rings. Please let me get it. <laughs> Jack, I'm not gonna bite her head off. From now on, I'm gonna be very careful where Julia is concerned. You're amazing. Why, because I promised to be polite? Because you haven't said I told you so, not once. I don't need to. Julia's actions speak for themselves. But we are not gonna let her hurt us, Jack. Not anymore. I just won't let that happen. Well, they're finally asleep. How come it takes me so much longer to get through the bedtime stories than it does you? Mm -hmm. Because I don't play every character in costume. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Any more pie in the fridge? Yeah, I think so. Help yourself. Text message. Help, I'm trapped. Oh, no, Lily. You want some? No. No, thanks, honey. I, th I think I'm going to go out for a minute, OK? How come? Well, is isn't that the last of the milk there? No, there's another half gallon behind the juice. Well, that would be gone by noon tomorrow. You don't mind listening for the children, do you? Oh, they're asleep. I was hoping to take advantage of this time alone. Oh, I will. When I get back, OK? I won't be gone long. Oh, Emma, <laughs> well, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hello to you too, Carly. Hey, <laughs> Ryan, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh, hello. <laughs> when did you get back? Hey, stranger, come on in. Thank you. How's your trip? Well, it was very quick, but uh, I was feeling better. I, I came straight from the airport. And we were your first stop? Mm -hmm. Hey, I guess we raid. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to uh, talk to Carly before I went home. You know, I was actually on my way out. A quart of milk can wait. I, ho I hope it can wait until I talk to you. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah, of, of course. Come, come in. Come in. Thank you. Thank you sit, so much. Sit down. Oh. Mm. So, um, does this have something to do with Lily and I putting that compass in Julia's bag? Yeah. Carly, I thought that was a very, very nasty trick. And it's been weighing on me ever since uh, I've been away. And I felt I needed to come here from the airport before I went home to just uh, clear the air. OK. I'm listening. Listen, no matter how you and Lily feel about Julia, I do not want to be put in the middle of any revenge plots. Do you understand? Julia and her son are guests in my home, and <laughs> I expect you and Lily to treat her with respect. You're absolutely right. Lily and I had no business trying to make Julia look bad. And putting you in the middle was just wrong. And I'm sorry. You are? From the bottom of my heart. Lily and I even, even tried to apologize to Julia. I promise you, it'll never happen again. You have knots the size of boulders. After the in your day back. I've had, I'm not surprised. I can't believe Jack and I got into it the way we did. I'm sorry, I feel really terrible. Man. Oh, please don't. I, I still got Luke to deal with. I need somebody in my life who's okay. You think you're gonna be able to get him to understand, honey? I hope so. We've been through so much together. He's an amazing kid. Yeah, well, he takes after his daddy. <laughs> I didn't raise him alone. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure Lily's a wonderful mother. Have you seen how Luke is generous with JJ? Yeah. How patient he is? Yeah. Lily, she taught Luke well. She taught him how to be a great big brother. It's just going to take him a little time to adjust to it being over between his mom and me. Listen, don't think about any of that, OK? Just relax. Let me take care of you for a little bit. What's up? How did it get out there? 
Oh, this was in my memory box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How old was he there? So four. I wish I had his baby pictures. Where are they? Here and there, you know, I had to leave a lot of stuff behind. But, you know, I take really good care of the things I did hang on to. I have no idea how it ended up on the floor. You don't? I do. JJ. Faith, she used to go in our drawers all the time. She'd pull stuff out and toss it on the floor. Yeah. He's pretty sentimental. He could have done that. He likes to look at old photographs and stuff like that. Anyway, let me just put it away, OK? Carly's cell. What does she want? I don't know. I'm not gonna answer it. I'm gonna let my voicemail pick up. You know what? It's probably Jack. Why don't you answer him? Talk to him. Hello? Oh, hey, Holden. Oh, I'm so glad you answered. I need to see you right away. Carly, I'm kind of busy right now. Really? What's going on? None of your business. I don't think you understand. This is very important. Are you at Emma's? Yes, but if this is about Jack, forget it. It's not about Jack. It's about JJ. I'm on my way. What'd she want? <laughs> she said it was about JJ. Oh, come on. Uh-uh. You know what? Call her back and tell her we're not buying it. Coming up on As the World Turns. Lily! Lily, are you here? Oh, hi, Holden. Hi. She's not picking up. She must have turned off her cell. How about if we try at home? She's probably already on her way. Oh, my gosh. What is that woman up to? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. You know, I wish I had never asked you to pick up the phone. She's gonna be here soon. I better get dressed. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Lily! Lily, are you here? I heard her. She's, I know she's here. Don't worry about it. Whatever it is, I'll handle it. Hi, Holden. Hi. Listen, thanks thanks for saying that you'd see me tonight. Yeah, sure, no problem. Just make it quick. Yeah, what, what is this about JJ? Look, I know that things between us have gotten out of control, and I, I've done some things that I'm really not proud of. What does this have to do with JJ? Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, this is coming out all wrong. I probably shouldn't have even come here tonight. It's just that I'm, I'm watching our family fall apart, and, and I hate it. You, you and Jack, you're like brothers. And look what's happened to the two of you. I just think that we need to be very careful and try very hard to be sure that JJ doesn't get hurt in all of this. Since when do you care what happens to JJ, Carly? You haven't exactly been subtle about wanting him out of Jack's Jack. life. Jack cares about JJ. And I care about Jack. And if Jack wants your son in his life, then I want to make sure that the situation is the best that it can be. So whatever is going on between the two of you, let's just all keep our heads, OK? That's it. That's all. You guys go back to whatever you were doing. What hey. took you so long? Uh, Emma came by just as I was about to leave. They didn't catch you, did they? It was, it was horrible. I was in the bedroom, and then they came in, and they started to, oh, my God. Oh. Thank God you called when you did. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Did, did you manage to find anything? I did. I found something. I, I, I can't show you here. Let's. Just, I'll show it to you later. I just gotta get out of here. Come on. Oh. Yep. Well, I'm sorry. I thought Carly'd be back by now. <laughs> well, the way she flew out of here, I think she'll be back in yeah, too soon. Nobody likes to get scolded, Emma. No matter how old they are. <laughs> well, I don't know. It seemed to me she apologized a little too quickly. Well, we've had discussions about the situation with Julia. Carly knows she was way over the line, and she promised to back off. Listen, we are not going to do anything to put you in the middle ever again. Oh, good. But as long as we're talking here, there's something. 
There's something else that's really been bothering me. Let's get it out on the table. Well, I mean, I don't condone what Carly did. But right after what she's been through with Julia, I, I kind of understand it. But what I don't understand is, why would Lily be on this get Julia bandwagon? I mean, is there something, is there something happening that I don't know about? Um, that's something you're gonna have to ask Lily. What? Lily and Holden. Asking you? Really not much I can say. Go home, Emma. Go home and talk to your son. All right. I will. Quiet. Good. So what did you find? You just get home? Yeah. I, I, I was sort of waiting for Emma to go, you know. Where's the milk? In here. And I got some bread and some other stuff, too. And look who I found on the porch. Oh, I'm sorry for coming by without calling first. It's just that I, uh, I needed to some, somebody to talk to. But if this is a bad time, I could just go. I can go. No, no problem at all. Here, let me okay. put those away. That was close. Oh, why should this be different than the rest of my night? But it was worth it. Look. I might have found the way to get rid of Julia for good. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. We now have enough food to feed an army. <laughs> no, not the way our kids go through peanut butter and jelly. Uh, yours too? Mine are like vacuums. You know, I defended you two to Emma tonight. I hope you're not gonna make a liar out of me. Jack, we're just talking. I, I know how it must be. You must not be able to trust us after what we've done, but Carly's really the only person that can understand what I'm feeling right now. She's really been a good friend, your wife. I'll be upstairs. Julia, the time I've spent with you and JJ has been a lifesaver for me. I guess sometimes we forget what's important until it's almost too late. I hate to think that anything could threaten what we have. Love, Keith. Look at the return address. Keith Morrissey, Chicago, Illinois. I know. We have an address. We have a name. You know what that means, don't you? Road trip. <laughs> 